It's a very powerful time right now to set your intentions. Yesterday was the beginning on the new moon, but for the next two days, it's only going to get stronger. So you guys got to keep your mind focused on like inside or less on external unless you want to receive more external in this next chapter. I'm just saying, like, if you want to receive more external, then keep your mind focused on external. By all means, do your thing if that's your intentions to manifest that. But right now is a very powerful time. So you should be letting things go. You should be releasing things, not focusing on and manifesting new things that's not relevant to your own inner work. So right now, if you are heavily focused on like other people or if you ain't been focused on what it is that you want to manifest or what it is that you wish to create, then stop. All right, stop. It is not the time to be dwelling and feeding into people's egos. It's not the time at that at all. I'm telling you. And if you're watching this video, you've been getting insights. God is not playing. The Antioch is returning. You know what that means? It means if you're focusing on other shit that's not relevant, doing stuff that's not good, just continually like moving down the wrong path, then you won't be able to make the shift. And I recommend you to make the shift. So look. Anyone who are doing low, low means, I would say like low vibrational things. So, so whatever you feel or identify as low vibrational, stop. Creator's still giving you a chance. All right. So that means women who are selling themselves. Yes. Yes. That means you too. The Antiochi cannot save the individuals who choose to partake in low vibrational things. So if you constantly are dwelling in past life cycles of the lower realm then eh, you won't be able to make the shift and i'm saying it's like basically it's still going to be the same it is now but it's going to be way higher and everything's going to be free everything's going to be free nothing's going to cost anything you wouldn't money is a low vibrational tool money has to go money has to leave in order for this realm to raise its vibration money is like that one tool that will change this plane like beyond beyond the imagination of what you currently view right now yes well beyond that it would change it like instantly within minutes i i feel like seconds but i'll give it two minutes this whole place is is gonna change that's why things are continually going on to try to keep you lowered in the low vibrational realms of things so meaning what if it's not if you're focusing on like rated r stuff like sex but not focus but like focus on it in a way of like you know, prostitution, pimping, that means dudes too, pimping, uh, I would say, uh, I would say selling it is a low, low, low vibrational tool too, because what it is, is that you're using means of money, which is a very low vibrational tool, to exchange something so spiritual, so high, high vibration, so interconnected, that you're using a low vibrational tool to exchange something high spiritual so you're making it low vibrational so so you're basically like yo it's it's so much ripple effects to what it is that people put out like they don't even understand the measures of what they're doing right now in this realm it's changing like since this am it's been changing bro it, like yo ladies it's been changing i don't know if you noticed but it's changing a lot based off what people do to you like i had an occurrence where i normally um i I mess with this shop heavily and whenever I'm, you know, going through, I always go and look, look for work there, right? You know, I normally go, it's always like comfortable, high, high vibrational. There's never any low occurrences with, within individuals, within the staff member there. No, it's never. Everyone's there just, you know, they understand it's a business, right? So today I go there, you know, of course, as a, you know, as a means for work, right? And, uh, it was a low vibrational thing that was trying to make his, energy prominent in that space so basically he's trying to bring the hood to a high vibrational area and we're and i was saying to him so pull up you know what i'm saying so i pull it you know what i'm saying i go in there and i'm like he immediately start watching me hard like like watch me hard he's like like immediately when i go in there right so that wasn't a problem but the thing is he kept following me following me and watching me now I mind you, I went in there like 40, 50 times. Never any low, any low altercations, anything of that sort of manner, right? So I go in there, you know what I'm saying? Just like watch me, still follow me, follow me. So I say, hey, bro, why are you watching me for? Like, you don't need to be watching me. I'm good. I, I'm a regular. You must be new here. He's like, oh, what do you mean? I watch wherever I am. I don't turn my back to anyone. I'm from the hood. I was like, so you brought the hood. I'm thinking in my head, like, you brought the hood to the suburbs? I'm like, what? And why are you watching me? I'm like, I don't, I'm not a hood. I'm not a crib. I'm not a, like, what? Oh, okay. I, I get it. You think I'm from the hood? Okay. Well, maybe once upon a time ago, but I've been pretty much on the upscale since then. 
I was thinking in my head, right? But my point was he was trying to classify me and label me as something of hood, but it was something else beyond it, right? So my point is people are going to use tools to ripple. Now, whoever still focus on those low vibrational aspects, they can't continue to sustain themselves in this current vibration because you know why? They're out putting opposite in which is what is coming onto the planet. So if you're putting out op opposite in which in into which God has put onto the planet, obviously something has to give, right? So the children and the women and the mothers can grow up in a high vibrational sustaining environment. So I already know that's God's doing his work through certain individuals who choose to still operate on their child side. Cause I know I'm just a child. That's it. God is your child side. That's why in Dragon Ball Z Super, Zin Zin, the masters are just in their child side. Like watch Dragon Ball Z, DBZ Super. I'm telling you, they tell you in the shows in anime. So with that being said, even, even what's the name has to listen to Zin Zin? Uh, the God of Destruction that Goku was sparring with. I forget his name. It's been a minute since I've seen Dragon Ball Super, but I saw all of them. I just haven't seen the new, new, new episodes, but I watched all of them. But anywho, um, my, my point is like, look, so, God uses individuals who choose to operate on the child side to do work. So now that individual, now, now, now that individual has to answer to somebody now. You think those actions can be outputted without no low intent on my part? Now it was understandable. It'll be justifiable if I had low malice intentions, right? Such as whoever this may resonate with, right? It'll be understandable. Then the individual can operate more on a lower frequency because you're putting out that lower frequency. I'm not saying they should. I'm saying they can, right? But when you're operating on God frequency, because you are, right? And the individual tries to change your vibration by going against God. Do you know what happens? I don't even need to say. Y'all already know what happens. So my point is in which, right? We just have to um, understand that let ego go. Ego will get you done for right now. Ego is not something that is sustainable. I would not recommend using ego. Ego is not good. Do not. Even me, whoever. I feel like me as far as a messenger, but anyone, they could be a messenger. They could be of God. They could be of anything. Do not operate on ego because God does not operate on ego. There you go. So how can you say you are you are of God if God does not, if you're not operating, well, if you're operating in which God is not operate on? Ego. Now, understanding if you're empathetic and you pick up certain vibrations and you mirror back to individuals, that's a whole nother, all right? God inter God sees that and program you into which that, that way you don't over, like over exude or overdo your power, right? Or overdo your knowledge or whatever tool that you have, right? Right? So with that being said, but, but, but if you're just operating on a low or malicious intent to, to bring another person down or to try to hurt their day, God does not tolerate that. Especially now. Look at the planet. It's heating up for such reasons. So there can be individuals that try to get your reaction. Like I had a couple individuals that were just laughing, <laughs> looking. <laughs> now knowing damn well, if I would have said something to them, they'd be like, call the cops, call the cops. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they'll come to me and try to get and try to make certain scenes and I just leave because I don't partake myself with those energies because it's never going to benefit you right so you just leave for some reason individuals are they're heavily you know they're just honestly I'm gonna tell you they're they're uh what's it called they're uh they're taken over by grace so it means their DNA been splicing they've been sub splicing with uh the children and stuff like that for so long that they're not even really even can control their emotions that's why I ignore them because they're just basically grays walking and round in like you know suits so I know right so if y'all want to know I know right I was gonna say it in a way that's like you know sugar coated but I was like you know I'm done sugar coating shit man I'm done so I'm gonna just tell y'all real up so niggas look niggas is just gonna get that karma Period, point blank. If you put out low vibration, especially if you go against God's choice. Now, if you are of God, then it's different. You won't be operating or even thinking of such thoughts to, you know what I'm saying? But you're always going to be thinking of better in the planet. As long as it, and God already knows that. God already, see, because God created everything. God is a good end. God, God indulges in all energies. There's no bad. There's no bad energy. We just presume it as bad, perceive it as bad, but it's not bad at all. It's not. Nothing is bad. Things are just into which they have to be done. And things are into which they have to be done now. So my point is, things are going to be trying to throw you out of alignment during this time because it's the beginning of a new moon, which means set your intentions because things are going to manifest much, much, much quicker than they ever have. That's why I'm reminding you guys, that's why I'm doing this video. So I'm just keeping you guys reminded not to get like sidetracked by day-to-day -day occurrences not to because if you're on any type of ascension then things are going to be trying to affect you especially gray's dna those great but they can't affect you 
long as you know you operate in which God. I know. When you know that, nothing cannot mess with you. Not one thing ever. And that is the end of this video. If y'all enjoyed that, you already know. But I'm hot, yo. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm hot in the mud. I'm like, yo, let me just take a break. I was doing a little, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me tell y'all something because something just came to my head. Always when I clear clear my head, messages come to my head uh, into which I should like. And I'm just telling myself this, like to be honest with you. I'm merely, I'm just like merely putting this video out because I'm feeling like someone else might need to hear this message. Not saying everyone needs to, but someone else might be interested to hear this. But I'm literally talking to myself to do my own shadow work. This is my own therapy. If you guys, if you guys don't want to waste the money on, on a therapist, just do this. Talk in a camera and see yourself. I'm telling you, it'll benefit other people and it'll benefit you. So some other people can hear that message and benefit from it. So when you're helping other people, you are helping yourself. So if you ever want to help yourself, just help everybody else and you will naturally help yourself. That is just what it is. Whatever you give to other people, you will receive faster than what you give yourself. I know, you need to know that, right? So if you give something to someone else, so I only do these videos to teach myself, but to also help someone else who may need to hear this.